There's one of her sisters. She's very pretty too. I dare say, very agreeable. She is tolerable, I suppose. But she's not handsome enough to tempt me. Bingley, I'm in no humour to give consequence to young ladies who are slighted by other men. Go back to your partner and enjoy her smiles. You're wasting your time with me. You are the last man in the world whom I could ever marry. Do you think that any consideration would tempt me? Your arrogance, your conceit, and your selfish disdain for the feelings of others. My opinion of you was decided when I heard Mr. Wickham's story of your dealings with him. Well, at least in that I may defend myself. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your connections? To congratulate myself on the hope of relations whose condition in life is so decidedly below my own? Miss Bennett. I... Uh, I did not expect to see you, sir. We understood all the family from home or we should never have presumed... I returned a day early. Excuse me, your parents are in good health. Uh, yes, they are very well. I thank you, sir. I'm glad to hear it. How long have you been in this part of the country? About two days, sir. And where stay? At the inn at Lambton. Oh, yes, of course. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm just arrived myself. Mm. And your parents are in good health? And, and all your sisters? <laughs> yes. They're all in excellent health, sir. Excuse me. The man himself, I presume. Just as handsome as in his portrait, though perhaps a little less formally attired. <gasps> we must leave here at once. Of course, if you wish. Oh, I wish he'd never come. What must he think of me? Was he displeased? What did he say? Oh, nothing of consequence. He inquired after my pet. Miss Bennett, please allow me to apologise for not receiving it properly just now. You were not leaving. We were, sir. I think we must. I hope you're not displeased with Pemberley. No, not at all. Then you approve of it? Very much. I think there are few who would not approve. But your good opinion is rarely bestowed and therefore more worth the earning. Thank you. Would you do me the honour of introducing me to your friends? Certainly. Mr. and Mrs. Edward Gardner, Mr. Darcy. Mrs. Gardner is my aunt, Mr. Darcy. My sister Jane stayed at their house in Cheapside when she was lately in London. Delighted to make your acquaintance, madam. Delighted, sir. You're staying in Lambton, I hear. Yes, sir. I grew up there. Mr. Oh, Cloud Darcy, you told us all. Is all ease and friendliness, no false dignity at all. I'm as astonished as you are. I can't imagine what has affected this transformation. Can you not? say again, sir, how very unexpected your arrival was. If we had known you were to be here, we should not have dreamt of invading your privacy. The housekeeper assured us you would not be here until tomorrow. I beg you do not make yourself uneasy. I had planned it so myself, but I found I had business with my steward and so rode on ahead of the rest of the party without informing anyone. They will join me tomorrow. And among them are those who claim an acquaintance with you. Uh, Bingley and his sisters. Oh. There's the other person in the party who more particularly wishes to know you. Would you allow me to... <clears throat> Do I ask too much to introduce my sister to you during your stay at Lambton? I should be very happy to make her acquaintance. Thank you. 